Roxbury High School we go for the Morris County Girls Soccer Tournament Championship and watch the good defense here by top seeded Randolph as Samantha Brennan and Caroline Matos combine to stop the West Morris run. Then second seeded West Morris tries to set up a chance here. Watch Madison Schmidt with the chip to the far post but Randolph keeper Rachel Fennell scoops up the ball we have no score. Randolph's on the attack and the Rams send in the shot on goal, but Westmore's keeper Alyssa Webb makes the stop and we go to halftime knotted at zero. Second half we go and off the Esther Wellman corner kick, watch Victoria Matson's header go just wide for Randolph and we still have no score. But that changes here, watch Brooke Carty carry it before letting go this rip to the far post and the Wolfpack have a one nothing lead midway through the second half. All right, watch this wild sequence off the Randolph corner kick Watch the ball come loose before Dana Shallot hits the post and then Westmore's keeper Alyssa Webb has the save as she punches it out and it stays 1-0 Westmore's. What a sequence. Okay, Randolph has another corner kick and Samantha Brenner sends it into the box. Watch it ping around before Jillian McGonnell sends in the rocket but Alyssa Webb is there with the terrific save as she tips it over the crossbar then holds on for the stop. What a save there by Webb. All right, now watch the hard work here by Randolph as the Rams push forward with just two minutes to go in regulation, and it's Katya Brackelman's Puig with the step up, and she scores, and we go to overtime tied at one. What a game. Neither team scored in the first overtime, and in double OT, watch Jillian McConnell of Randolph take the shot, and it ricochets off Kendall Bellotti, and it remains tied at one. All right, it's late in double overtime, and watch Cassandra Montgomery with a nice blue ball to Brooke Party, who makes the beautiful move and beats the keeper, but Caroline Matos saves the day for Randolph as she clears the goal mouth, and this championship game ends in a 1-1 tie as co-champs are declared. I think it's all about, like, gaining momentum, gaining, like, just the, like, adrenaline, and we definitely should have had it from the beginning. We probably would have won the game that way, but, you know, realizing in the past, in the last four minutes, realizing that it could be the end, um, just could have let it happen. It's exciting. I mean, we did get a championship title, so, yeah, we're ready to move on to States and try and get another title. Figuring out a way to get them to appreciate the, the co-championship, which is... Um, it's a little bittersweet right now for them, but they, um, no, there was the, the journey here has been difficult and it's been challenging, so I'm really proud of them.